Hello, my dear boys and girls, my dear viewers, welcome to my channel and easy step to English grammar that deals with all sorts of grammatical items and writing skill. However, before I start my lesson, I have the right to request all of you to press the bell icon to subscribe my channel so that I may be encouraged and enthused to appear before you with more grammatical items. Today's lesson is prepositions, easy way to learn prepositions. I have already given you four or five lessons on prepositions and today I am dealing with some prepositions, very common prepositions, everyday use that we shall have to use during our conversation and at the time of our writing too. My first item is accustomed to. What is the meaning of accustomed to? To be familiar with something. For example, I am not accustomed to taking such type of food because I am a Bengali. I am not accustomed to. Now, my second example is add up. Add up means combine numbers or figures together. Please add up the numbers and give me the total. Please add up the numbers and give me the total or the total number of candidates. Now my third item is allow in or into. That means to give permission to enter. For example, I cannot allow you in this room with your shoes. I cannot allow you in this room with your shoes. Allow in. Bed down. Bed down means, sorry, allow in. Bear down. Bear down means conquer or overcome. There are many disadvantages or troubles which will appear before you. But you will have to bear them down or bear down them. That means you will have to overcome all the obstacles of your life. Now my next item is bed down. Bed down means to settle for the night. Okay, I have nothing to do because it's midnight and I will have to bed down in this hotel tonight. I shall have to bed down in this hotel tonight. Now, next item is beg off. Beg off means to refuse to do although promised. Although promised. For example, you have begged me off. You have begged me off Although you promised to perform, that means you have already refused to do, although it was promised. Okay? Now, believing to have faith in, you do not believe in God. You are an atheist. Sally did not believe in God and he was an atheist. Clear? Now my next item is belong to. To be property or asset somebody. Belong to. For example, this house was built by my grandfather but at present it belongs to me. At a, but at present the house built by my grandfather belongs to me. Now, bend on. 
to determine on a course of action to determine on a course of action for example recently i am bending on or bending upon gardening recently i am bending on or bending upon gardening which is my favorite hobby favorite hobby now my next item is blackout to lose consciousness temporarily to lose consciousness temporarily blackout for example while i was writing on the blackboard suddenly i was blacked out suddenly i could not see anything that means i felt a blackout position in my eyes you may write while i was writing on the blackboard i was blacked out now my next item is blare off to burst into flames to burst into flames as soon as the bomb exploded the houses blared off the houses blared off as soon as the bomb exploded the houses blared off you may use blare off in the different sense for example he hurled many ugly words at me but i did not blare off that means i kept myself cool calm in such a position too now my last item is bob up bob up means to appear suddenly this gentleman bobbed up in our locality but at present he is not seen anywhere he is not seen anywhere your familiarity your familiarity bobbed up temporarily but it has gradually disappeared okay i have discussed all these important appropriate prepositions the prepositions are appropriate because they are used only with these words however try to remember them try to practice them at home i am ending my lecture stay safe stay well and i think that you will be benefited if you can remember all these prepositions and i shall appear before you i promise with more grammatical items phrasal verbs appropriate prepositions which will come to your help in ielts examination madhyamik examination cbse icse icse etc thanking all of you good night